Hello everyone, this is the Insert Title Show and I'm your host, Wolf Strife. In this episode I'm going to be talking about Metro Last Light, the absolutely great sequel to the absolutely great game Metro 2033. Uh, Metro Last Light picks up uh, about a year after Metro 2033 ends, so we're naturally in the year 2034 now. So, uh, Pretty interesting, and uh, it's an absolutely amazing game. I mean, like I told Creed last year, the game runs so smoothly. I mean, just the uh, combat system and stuff. You know, it's first person. It's probably the smoothest first person shooter I've played since maybe like Halo 4, I guess. I mean, it just moves so smooth. It's it's beautiful to watch. I mean, it's beautiful to move around and stuff. It's just awesome with your gun drawn and stuff. Um, yeah, so this one, uh, you get to play as Atiyam again, and uh, he's a little older, a little wiser now after all the shit he went through a year ago. And, uh, yeah, you get to meet a lot of the old characters uh, that you did in 2033. I think it was like Olman and uh, uh, Miller as Atiyam calls them. And uh, you get to meet a couple of new ones like Anna and uh, stuff. But uh, it's really, really good game. The characters are good. The story is really cool. Um, the gameplay is amazing. You get to do a lot of cool new shit in this one. You get to go to a, basically, a, well, the city's called Venice because it's, flo it's uh, sinking, I guess. But it's kind of like an underwater city in the metro, so it's kind of cool. And uh, you get to go on the surface a lot more in this one, and uh, it's really, really crazy. And the uh, Reich and the uh, Reds are uh, a lot more prevalent in this one. Basically, if you don't know, the Reich is uh, basically the Nazis have reemerged in uh, post-apocalyptic Moscow and the subways. So, uh, yeah. A little crazy, and so I have the uh, Soviets, except they're called the Reds. So yeah, naturally those two are still trying to claim dominance over the world, or <laughs> at least as much of it as they can. But uh, yeah, so Atiyam uh, has to go on an odyssey again through the uh, metro system of Moscow, and uh, you get to do a lot of crazy shit, and uh, a lot of crazy shit happens to him, and. The ending, uh, the uh, battle at the end of the game is freaking amazing. It's just got a lot of awesome stuff. Um, the weapons are badass. You get a pretty damn good arsenal on this one. A lot of guns I'm familiar with using too, like the Saiga and uh, the pistol I liked a lot. It was very cool in this one. So it's, you know, if you're a first person shooter buff, or if you're a horror game buff, or if you just like great games, can't go wrong with Metro Last Light. It's very rare for you to come across a sequel that is just as good as the first one. So, yeah, this one is definitely a damn good sequel. Probably one of the best sequels in the last couple of years. So, uh, definitely check out Metro Last Light.